Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to enable or add a trusted platform module or TPM for a Windows Virtual Machine in Microsoft Hyper-V. So I'm doing this on the uh, Windows 10 version of Hyper-V, which you could run if you're using Windows 10 Professional. Alright, so I have my Hyper-V Manager open here and I have my Windows 10 VM running. And the reason we're going over this is because the new Windows 11. So if you want to um, install Windows 11 in Hyper-V, if you're doing a clean install, it seems to be fine without the TPM, but if you want to do an upgrade of one of your VMs within Windows, then you might have a problem. So we're going to show you what that problem is right now. So we have this VM here, and I have my Windows 11 DVD mounted here. So we're going to go ahead and run it here. Okay, so installing Windows 11, and then there's an option here to for updates. We're going to skip the updates for now for the sake of time. And we're going to leave that unchecked because we don't want to send anything to Microsoft. So click on Next. So it's doing a check of the PC right now. Okay, so it says PC does not currently meet Windows 11 system requirements because it doesn't support TPM 2.0. And so you're stuck there. So what you got to do in order to add that is to shut this down here before we can do anything. Okay, so now we go to our Hyper-V Manager. Here's the VM in question. We're going to go to its settings. And then we want to go to the security section here. And you might want to enable Secure Boot because that could help you out as well. But right here we have a section for encryption for enable TPM. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to click on OK. And we're going to restart it. Okay, so now we'll log in here. Okay, and then we'll start the inst installation again and see what happens. Okay, use the same options here. Okay, here's the checking your PC section. So this is where we'll see if it makes it or breaks it here. Okay, so we got past that, that section here. So we're at the license agreement. Okay, then we get this message about this build is flight sign. This is not an official build. This is a, like a test build here. So uh, we're not going to worry about that. And actually going to stop it here because I have another video on the whole installation process for a Windows 10 upgrade. You could check out and I'll actually put that link in the description. And then you can follow along with the process from start to finish. So anyway, so like I said, just go to your Hyper-V Manager, go to the settings. This has to be with the VM turned off. Go to security, make sure the box for enable TPM is checked. And I would recommend checking secure boot as well if it's not already checked. And then restart and you should be good to go. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.